Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you guys how to connect a second monitor to your iMac. It's only a few things that you need. It's pretty easy. You need a either HDMI to Thunderbolt cable or VGA to Thunderbolt. So pretty much whatever your second monitor needs and then Thunderbolt to connect to your Mac. Second thing you need is obviously your second monitor. Now, I made the mistake of not doing research on this part and it really screwed me over in the long run. So that's what I'm here to help you guys with. The one in the back, that's a Samsung LED TV, 32 inch. And the one in the front is a 24 inch Asus LED backlit monitor. Now, there is a difference between a TV and a monitor. I did not know that because I went with the Samsung first because you know it's bigger it's 1080p LED well the A says is LCD LED backlit so I went with the Samsung one connected it to my Mac and it looked terrible all right as you can see I have my HDMI to Thunderbolt plugged in to my Mac from the Samsung LED and right off the bat you can probably notice that the one on the right has this reddish tint and she's not as defined as the one on the left. That's a sharper image. Uh, hopefully the camera can pick up the resolutions and give you guys the better idea of it. And also the color is different. I have messed with the settings on that television for hours. I've changed the brightness, the contrast. I switched it to gaming mode to standard mode and it just, it does not put out the best resolution and the worst part is that it's claiming that it's putting out 1080p resolution which is it's not it, it's not doing it I have it selected on 1080p that's the highest resolution it goes and it just it just does not look good we do another comparison test these as you can see these guys are all bright red for some strange reason but if you pull them over here they're normal Okay, now I am on the second monitor. It's HDMI to Thunderbolt connected to the Mac. And almost immediately, you can realize that this one looks a lot better than the Samsung. It's sharper, it's cleaner, it doesn't have that reddish tint to it. Uh, the letters and the text and everything look a lot better. Now, you might have noticed that it does have like this grayish tint to it and it's because the monitor is LCD LED backlit not LED like my Mac monitor over here when you're shopping for a monitor make sure you look for a monitor that has a fast uh, gray to gray speed that's pretty much the refresh rate for monitors this one here is pretty good it's two milliseconds well cheaper ones will get you like five milliseconds and and it's pretty much yeah like I said it's, it's refresh rate also, when you plug in your monitor for the first time, it's gonna mirror what's ever on your main monitor. Uh, it's an easy way to fix it. Let me show you real quick. All right, what you wanna do is go to your finder, or the Apple logo there, system preferences. Uh, head to displays, and then it's gonna open one here, and the other one over there for that monitor. Those are the its settings, but to get it to stop mirroring, you just pretty much go to arrangement. You figure out which side. Mine's on the right, so that's this monitor, so I put it on the right. And then mirror displays. Just check that little box and it'll turn it off. So I hope this helped you guys out. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. Also look in the description. I'll have links to the monitor that I use and the cord that I use. So you guys don't have to go searching for those. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you guys later.